government when a landscape job is big and ambitious, but the budget is tiny and tight. It means you've got to use your brain. Recycle and reuse, scrounge materials. The point is, you can do a lot in a space like this for a lot less than you think. For example, we've only got a budget of $2,000 to totally transform this space. The best thing about it, your garden will be completely unique. First up, a splash of paint on the wall. So I'm going to turn this 44 gallon drum into a very good looking contemporary planter. So all I'm doing is taking an angle grinder and cutting along these ribs. That's a really easy point to trace and get a nice straight line. However, before you're using the grinder, make sure that the drum hasn't had anything flammable inside it. One more cut and I've got three planters for less than 20 bucks. All I've got to do now is round those edges off to make them nice and safe. Now to give this a really contemporary look, our forefathers were turning their graves. We're going for a rust look, just a two part process. There's the base and the top coat. When these are finished, they won't look like 44 gallon drums, they look like expensive store bought pots. Now I want to make this garden a usable space, not just something you look at. So I'm going to knock up some furniture and this gate that I found the council throw out came at the right price and it's going to be perfect as the world's easiest coffee table. All I'm doing is tracing out the top of the drum onto the old gate and then cutting it out with a jigsaw. Oh, there you go. Easy as. All I've got to do now is give it a coat of paint, dress it up and drop it on the drum. Now I'm trying to bring this courtyard in for under two grand. At the moment all I've spent money on is paint. But believe it or not, there's a thousand dollars worth of plants here. We've got flax and lamandra, some ground covers like a juga and the little gazanias. Now they're all tough. You need to remember that we're planting into big tubs. It's just like planting into a pot. They're going to heat up and dry out. So you need to go for tougher species. If you don't have the thousand dollars, there is something you can do. You can beg, borrow and that other thing. What we've got here is frangipanis, pig face, and little chalk sticks. Now all these plants are so easy to propagate, you don't even have to think about horticulture. The old brick wall looks great with a coat of paint, but to tie it into the garden and to make a real feature, we're putting some of the drums on the wall. Now these are simply attached with some spaghetti and a screw through the back wall of the drum. They're fantastic shelving, very industrial, modern looking. You could put your firewood in there, maybe some candles, even a puppy dog if it'll sit still long enough. So the coffee table needs some chairs around it and store-bought ones just wouldn't suit. What I've got here is a beautiful chunk of black a eucalypt. There was a tree being chopped down a street away from my house. I went around, spoke to the arborist and he chopped it up into cute little 400 mil sections for me. So all I've got to do is hit them with the belt sander to clean up the top, get rid of the splinters so they don't end up in your backside. And then a coat of paint just to dress them up and we'll put them in place. Then it's in with a heap of river pebbles. For under a hundred bucks, it's a fraction of the price of paving, and it's a lot faster. You know, lots of people talk about this industrial look. I don't think it gets more industrial than the 44 gallon drum. But because we've gone for this look, we've been able to save a heap of cash. It's a big space to bring in under $2,000. And most of the cash has gone on the plants. But your imagination and your ingenuity, they're free. And I reckon it looks fantastic.